great. Uh, picking up where we left off, we had created a custom shape using the Wave Shaper in Citrus. And using the Wave Shaper in Citrus, you can make sort of more complicated shapes than I showed you. Uh, for instance, there's a chess piece I made. Um, and then here's just a, a 3D drawing of a cube. But sometimes, you know, this is this is a lot of work to draw these various pieces step by step by step. And sometimes you just, you, you don't want to put in that time or the shape you're working on is too complex. Um, and that's where you sort of punch out from FL Studio. And there's some utilities out there on the web, uh, one of which I'm going to show you in a minute, which is really helpful to do complex shapes. Um, one thing I would note here, uh, another tool that I've, I'm introducing here is Pretty Scope. This is a VST. It's 20 bucks. It's totally worth it. Uh, it, it makes a beautiful scope. Um, it's got lots of different settings, uh, brightness, etc. This behaves a lot more like a regular uh, real-life oscilloscope. Uh, the vector, um, sorry, the vector scope that was in the Z Game Visualizer that I have been using, uh, that works fine for certain types of imaging. But unfortunately, it, it draws every single line. And sometimes what you want to do is sort of lift the pen and move it and put it back down and draw some more. And when you do that, using the vector drawing tool, it, it sort of bombs out. It shows all the lines in between. Um, where this pretty scope is sort of driven by uh, the amount of time that the pen, if you will, sits on a certain spot. And that's how a real oscilloscope works as well. So you can, you can sort of draw brighter and, and dimmer lines, and you can move the pen quickly. Um, and it's just a faint line, uh, and it, it leaves this sort of brightness for uh, the parts you want drawn. Um, but uh, so again, the, the shapes you can draw using that technique I showed you, things like this chess piece. Um, but if you use other tools, you can draw, like I drew, I'm off screen here, but uh, for instance, this is a clock face that I drew, I, I freehand drew it in this other tool and then imported it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but this would be something that would be very difficult to do using this other technique. It's important you understand how this works, though, because I'm going to show you how to put that to work uh, with these outside tools. So um, without further ado, let me pop over to that screen. So this, I'll give you this link down below. But this is a tool that allows you to draw sort of arbitrary complex shapes and generate an audio file and then you can bring that audio file easily into FL Studio and then manipulate it from there. So I'm going to start drawing one but I'm going to quickly mute it for you because it's pretty shrill. So here's, um, oh let's draw some Sorry, I'll mute that. Uh, I'm going to draw a pumpkin. Of a Dracula thing. Okay, so uh, a true artiste, you can tell. Uh, this shape would have been very difficult to draw in this wave shaper tool. But I'm going to show you how to bring this in and actually use it as a wave shaper um, inside of Citrus. So first things first, we want to save a stereo file, and then we'll bring it in and go from there. Uh, one thing I like to do with this tool is turn the note value all the way down and that seems to give me sort of the highest complexity of this shape uh, in terms of dot density um, and then it makes it more useful once it gets in so uh, save the stereo file and save and now it's here available so I'm just going to drag this directly into the FL Studio playlist. I have that on another screen. But essentially, I'm just dragging it and dropping it right on the playlist. Okay, now I'm back in FL Studio. And I'm double-clicking to open. Now, here's that stereo file it just created. 
and there's our little pumpkin. And frankly, you can use this in your projects just as is. You could make a, a little beat with pumpkins or something, I suppose. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, not too exciting, but um, you see what I'm doing there? Essentially, this, let's edit this. This is uh, two different waveforms, one you know, panned hard left, one panned hard right, and it's creating that pumpkin shape. Now, let's go back to citrus, though. If we wanted to use this as a as a, just a straight sample, you could. You could play it. It's it's a little clumsy though for making music. Um, you can take it directly into Citrus though and turn it into sort of a musical instrument. And let me show you how to do that. Um, there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, we'll go. This is the default uh, preset that I've been using. Again, it's just two sine waves right now. Makes a circle. I'm going to remove the panning. And what you want is them to be in phase. And now back in Edison, I'm editing this in Edison. If you highlight the entire sample, and then using this tool, convert left channel to mono. Basically, it takes everything is left now, it drops out the right. And you can take and drop this right on top of oscillator right here. We're going to do the same thing with the right channel. I have to undo. Now I've got the original sample back again. Back here. Cover right channel to mono. And then go to this second operator and drop it in there. So now, move that off screen. I did it right. Hey, look. And you can do whatever you want now. It's just like any other sound source. You can change the volume with an envelope. Uh, you can have it sort of swell up to pumpkin shape. You can pitch it sort of from. <laughs> I broke that, didn't I? Okay, uh, maybe we shouldn't do that part. Uh, that takes a little tuning, obviously. You need the pitch of both left and right to be in sync. Um, but again, you can kind of do whatever you like with it within Citrus because it's now, these are two unique oscillators that have the shape. Go back here. So I've got the right one. This is what we brought in, and then there is the sort of custom shape rebuilt uh, with all the partials inside of Citrus. So that's an easy way to take complicated shapes and get them into FL Studio and then sort of turn them into music. I'm not sure what, uh, what I'm going to do with the pumpkin. Okay, so another approach to achieving a similar result, but uh, using a different technique. Again, with the same sort of pumpkin shaped sample, instead of dropping it directly in as the replacement for this sine wave in the operators, if we take the approach similar to that sort of wave shaper approach I showed you in the last tutorial. So we'll quickly switch this Let's see. Okay, and then the wave shaper on. All right, so this guy is ready for us. Yeah. Again, we'll take this sample, pick off the left channel. It helps if you turn up this sampling. It seems to get a more accurate wave shaper. And again on this guy, pick up the right channel. 
And there's your... Okay. Now you may ask why bother doing it this way? We could have done it the other way. Well, this is actually an interesting... You, you can rework an existing sound to be an oscilloscope music sound by using this technique. You basically, instead of letting the whatever's coming out go out directly, push it through these wave shapers and you can get that shape. Um, it won't be as clean uh, when you do that, but it allows you to have you know, lots of modulation among all these sounds um, before it gets out and then again push it out through these wave shapers and you can end up with some pretty uh, pretty slick um, graphics while still having some interesting sounds. A lot of the sounds out of oscilloscope music I find to be very um, sort of plain. Uh, they sound a lot like sort of chiptune, you know, low 8-bit type stuff, which is fine, but if that's not the sound you're after, again, this is a way to sort of get something a little more interesting. Um, so one other thing to think about is if you have a shape you like, you can always resample it. So here's the pumpkin. If we send it out recorded in Edison, sort of nip it off right at the edge of this sample, make sure it repeats correctly. So it's not working correctly right now. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> so I took out the mod, took out the video. But if you like the shape, you can record it and then go through this exercise again, drop it right back in and essentially resample it back into Citrus. And that allows you to have a sort of a complex set of routing, creating the shape, and then to simplify it down to just the two oscillators using that first technique I showed you earlier. So anyways, this is a way to get very complex shapes in to not just into FL Studio, but turn them into music. Um, and with that other, you know, with this sort of drawing tool, you can really draw whatever you like here. Um, and you know, this is a very complex thing to sort of have to draw by hand out here in the wave shaper, but you can you can get it in using that this approach. Anyways, hope this is helpful. i uh, love to see other folks' uh, projects, uh, and uh, see you next time.